pure and simple, the ideas of what Planet X and the Buru are meant to be. Some of the theorists say that Planet X is a planet, whereas others say that Planet X is really a star. And on the Buru, a number of people claim that Nabooru is a planet and yet other people claim Nabooru is also a star or could be a star. There's this claim out there that they're two different objects that Nabooru is the name of the star and Planet X is the name of the planet next to it. Alternatively, some people say that Planet X is the brown dwarf star, which is basically the small star with Nibiru in orbit. If we put the names to one side for now, there seems to be the general consensus by the Nibiru Planet X theorists that there's a number of possibilities. There's a possibility of a star-like object and at least one planet, maybe more. It's claimed by some theorists that there are a number of planets around this brown dwarf star. Some people suggest that the legends of Nibiru and other gods of ancient times within Babylon and indeed beyond, relate to some of these planets, and possibly even the inhabitants of those planets. Some theories relating to the planet or planets which may be inhabited speak of UFOs and alien abduction, as well as the ancient accounts of gods being connected to the inhabitants, who come to Earth to collect resources whenever that mini-solar system is on a close orbit. Many people out there believe the basic theory that there's a planet out there with a very long orbit which brings it into the centre of the solar system every so many thousand years. Most of the theorists don't believe in the alien stuff or the silly ideas. They just believe there's a planet or possibly some other object which may at some point come close enough to the Earth to cause some sort of devastation. Many of the theorists involved in this topic claim that Elenin was the doomsday event or object. Many of them claimed that other objects out there recently discovered in the outer solar system must have been these doomsday objects out there and going to come in to the inner solar system by 2012 or maybe some other point in the future. The conspiracy theories about NASA are a convenient excuse. Where's the proof? I ask. They say NASA has covered it up. And of course, once they say the information is there, it's just been hidden. It's been taken away and doctors have been locked up in federal prisons or professors have been taken away by CIA and other various conspiracy theories they can say anything they want because the people who will listen will be their kind of audience the paranoid and fearful but as with all conspiracy theories it's obvious that it's bullshit in the end there is no genuine evidence for this other planets or other star 
There could be. But I want to disassociate any theoretical object from the idea of 2012. If there was an object due to come to the Earth for 2012, it would already be visible. Otherwise, it'd have to be travelling so fast, it wouldn't be able to sustain its integrity. So putting it simply, 2012 will not be the end. 2012 will not be the doomsday. People claim it must be or will be. Another year of the same crap. But then again, who knows? There could be any number of other things which could affect us. And you never know, Nibiru or some version of it might be real. Just not due yet. It's okay to have an open mind on this issue or any other issue. But don't allow yourself to believe stuff unless there's evidence, unless there's proof. And don't claim you have proof when you really don't. In the case of Nibiru and Planet X, there is no genuine evidence, as far as I know. So in this case, I'd have to say Planet X or Nibiru, as professed by these Nibiru theorists. It's just complete and utter nonsense.